hello guys you're welcome to the 15th video in this series now in the last video we talked about the from trade uh, which uh, you learned about the from and into trade you know that once the from has been implemented for it for it for a type then you can use the into which is the reciprocal of the from trade um, and uh, yeah so in this video we're going to talk about the try from and try into trades so what is try from and try into well checking the documentation here you can see that it's similar to from and into but you can use to convert between types that you probably can convert or cannot convert so for example given this example we have here for an even number so let's try to implement try from for this even number and see if it works all right um so what we could do is first of all we're going to delete this and then we're going to have a struct even number all right and then we're going to have an i32 inside of there and we'll implement try from okay so you can see uh, make sure you have the use std convert try from so if you don't have code completion make sure you do that so try from i32 for even number all right now we have to implement the missing members just like that and wow so I, I i guess you haven't seen some of this but all of these are actually provided by the new um uh, lsp lsp uh, rust analyzer so that's where i got you know all of this as you can see there's a lot of there's a bunch of things that are uh, that are actually from here all right so anyway type error is just you know i can say it's a string or whatever but it doesn't matter i'm just gonna say i'm returning an empty tuple an empty uh type i guess so what this try from is gonna do is that uh, what is this all right so what is try from is gonna do so as you can see i was what i was saying about the um uh, rust lsp analyzer plugin inside of sublime text you can see is now showing me the number of implementations that we have for a particular um you know type so this is basically a lot of other things that the sublime lsp uh rust and sublime rust sublime lsp rust analyzer whatever provides so make sure to install that if you want to get better rust support for sublime text all right cool so let's continue with this um so what i want to do is i want to know if this number so if this number is even then i want to get an okay value back but if it's not then i want to you know so how do i know that a number is even um if value mod i think it's uh, mod 2 equal to zero so the number is even if this is the case so i'm just gonna say return okay with the value and i'm just gonna say here that i'm gonna i'm gonna return an error type right here and this should work this should just work all right so what i could do now what the hell even number oh yeah sorry so i have to wrap this himself just like that and now this is gonna work i'm very sure of that so what we can do now is say number to try from i mean try into so like i said just as there is a reciprocal of uh, the from trade we could also do the try into and this is going to be like an even number type now that's why we're getting that error hopefully All right so now let's see what do we have uh number this right so i have to uh import the std convert trying so let's see if this can help us out as you can see it can um there we go um not what is this okay right so we have a result all right so we have a result type depending on what kind of value we have here now we could unwrap this um and we're gonna do just that so we could unwrap this and then we could print out our number which is gonna work because 20 is an even number so now you can see that i don't have to open up the terminal anymore or, or you know do cargo run nope we don't have to do that we could just hit this and this is going to work as expected all right so as you can see here we have the number is an even number and we got 20 out of it all right so if we change this to 21 what's going to happen then uh where the hell is my editor all right i think i yep so if i run this again what do we get um so we get thread main panic so why did we panic a panic and an error value right so here i think it's much better to return um something like um, a string so that we can describe whatever the error value was 
and inside of the string here we could say something like string uh, from you know um, the value is not an even number and so now if we try to run this again and we um, do this then we're gonna get all right close this so you see here we get an error value that says the value is not an even number so this is a much more descriptive error message compared to uh, what we had earlier and that's how uh, this works and that's all for this video so try from or try into is basically used to convert um, between types that preferably fail so if I want to convert you know like I said we have a value which is a number an I32 and I want to convert into uh, uh, by the way you could totally implement try into all right so try into so let's just say um, I32 for even number you know if you want to implement that you could definitely do that uh, but most people don't actually do that but like I said you could um, so something like this where you could provide some custom functionality so for example you know we want to return um, what is this so we have self and I want to convert this to an i32 so what I could do is return self dot zero um, this is gonna be okay so what I'm saying is I'm probably gonna add like 10 to it to make sure that you know, this actually uh, does something different um, so what we could do now is just say uh, the try into but we have to use the i32 to make sure that we know that it's an i32 we're trying to convert to all right um, yeah so this is this is not gonna work uh, I think I have to do let num again equal to uh, this is gonna be an i32 num the try into just like that oh this is amazing so if I remove the type annotation from this oh my god so now this is almost as feature complete as what is in the um uh, what is it called? Uh, it's almost as feature complete as what is in the uh, Visual Studio Code equivalent. Wow, this is amazing. This is awesome. This is really, really cool. So, um, yeah, so what do we have here? All right, all right, all right. What is this? So I want to just print out the number here. And now let's see what we get. So this should be an I32, but what do we have here? All right, so we have to unwrap. Um, so what we should have here is 21 plus 10, which should be, um, I mean, this is going to fail anyway. This is going to, let me just show you that this is not going to, this is going to compile, but it's going to panic because, um, you know, the value is not an even number. But if it's an even number, so if we set this back to something like 20, um, and we try to run this, then this should totally work, right? Um, customizer, yeah, or whatever. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna have to do some key binding. Yeah, personalize our run. See, wow, this is amazing. You could actually have a bunch of things that you want to run, you know, depending on. Anyway, that makes a lot of sense. And now you can see we have the numbers 30. So that's how you implement the different kind of um, you know implement. So if you don't provide this, then this is gonna automatically have like a blanket implementation of this. I mean, not a blanket implementation of this, but for um, this because we didn't implement try into for number but the compiler is going to provide a try into for i32 so that we can convert it straight to an even number which all that does is to just call try from and then it's going to get that value of an even number i hope that makes a lot of sense that will be all for this video thank you guys for watching i recommend you install the lsp rust analyzer i think it's a new plugin i didn't see this like a couple of months ago i only downloaded it yesterday and as you can see it provides a lot of uh, pretty useful feature and it's probably much better than um, the Visual Studio Code equivalent. Anyway, that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe.